following day, Jason and I went off in separate directions to look at two very different types of camera technology. I had an impressive new time-lapse app called Lapsit, which I'd set up to film my car journey through Berlin. It works with any Android camera, and to make sure I get the best quality footage that's really up to scratch, I'm using the HTC One X, as it has an 8 megapixel camera. It fires the shutter at predetermined intervals. I've set mine to about every 30 seconds, so that I can capture and condense hours worth of action into just a few seconds. And if you want, you can trim and reverse the footage, or use it for stop motion animation. So after an hour travelling across the city, I examined my Lapsit footage. Wow! I think it's just an app and a smartphone. But you guys might be out of a job. The HD time-lapse footage was a revelation, producing professional results effortlessly on a smartphone. Polly's time-lapse footage was very cool, but I also had some incredible tech I wanted to try out. 